Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair, huh? Toshiba Dinobook. The problem with this one, pressing the power button and it's not coming on, I can't see any light, nothing. Let's check the customer uh, letter, here yeah, we have a letter. So this laptop is coming from, uh, from a computer business. So the customer is saying, hi sorry, Dinobook C50 intermittent charging. I believe it's a MOSFET. And you have repaired two of these in the past. You remember we have two Dina books and both. They have exactly the same burn MOSFET. Mm -hmm. Let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. Let me find the right plug. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. So 19 volts, plug in the charger, and it's taking like 30 milliamps, and that's all what it's doing. And probably the laptop is working. Yeah, it is working. It is coming on. Yeah, coming on picture, everything fine. And it's loading the windows. Power off, and you can see it's not charging. It's taking like 50 milliamps, and that's all. So I will say, Screws left out. We don't have screws. You know, this This is, you know, I have so many customers like, okay, sorry, you know what? I took out the screws. Sorry, that's the problem. Uh, look, I'm sending you the components or, uh, sorry, look, this is the schematic. I mean, people are so helpful. I was so, so helpful. I mean, I'm point, I'm, you know, I kind of like feel bad. So the laptop, it's open. And you remember which MOSFET it was? Huh? Just say it. You remember? I believe it's exactly that MOSFET. Huh? Let me unplug the charger. Let me unplug the battery. And let's go under the microscope and check that MOSFET. Now, the MOSFET is next to the M2 drive, so we're going to have to take it out. So, drain with source, check on the screen, 1 ohm, you can see, so the MOSFET is shorter. I said it before, this is a common fault uh, on these laptops. Now, you can take advantage from this uh, common fault, have a look on like uh, eBay, when you see Toshiba Dina book, no, working but not charging, yeah. You can buy it and you can fix it. Okay, let's remove that MOSFET. Hot air, 500 degrees. Perfect, so the MOSFET is out. Now, what we can find uh, another MOSFET to replace. Now you have to understand the MOSFETs, they can carry huge amount of current. So you can replace, uh, like this is not even a gaming laptop, so you can replace it with basically any channel and MOSFETs, yeah? Have in mind channel and. Like here, here we have two MOSFETs and, you know, looks like a channel uh, and configuration. So we'll get one MOSFET. I can be wrong. Yeah, I can be wrong. But you know what uh, I'm going to do? I'll take the multimeter and check the gates. If the gates are together, gate we gate are together. Does mean it's a channel and MOSFET. So now we have this MOSFET. Let's be sure about the MOSFET position, which is like that. Perfect. 
hotter. And the MOSFET is solder on place. Perfect. So what do you think? It will work or not? Let me cool down the board a little bit. Plug in the battery. Let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger and check there, check there, check there. Uh, that's the pre-charge current, 120 milliamps. And should go, if I remember the, the, <clears throat> the charging current was low on this laptop, probably like 800 milliamps if I remember. Yeah. The battery has 7.6, okay. Can we hold the battery? Yeah, we can. So let me see what current do we have here. Yeah, we have a lot. Good. So I will come with the plus on the plus of the battery here. Good. And you see 800 milliamps and we can rise the current to 2 amps. Yeah. And now it's showing like the battery has 8 volts. But obviously it's not 8 volts. Let's raise the current to 3 amps. Huh? When you think the original charging current is like 800 milliamps. And you will think actually, okay, that's bad for a laptop, like only 800 milliamps when we have another laptop charging with two, three amps. And it's about the battery life. The lowest the charging current, the longer the battery life. Okay, so three amps and now let's wait. 800 milliamps, check that. So it's charging fine now. All you have to do is, you know, just to help the battery a little bit to uh, to reach the lowest uh, level uh, at the cell. So we have two cells here. So the lowest level is like 3.5 volts per cell or 3.6, I would say. That's mean the lowest possible is 7.2 and fully charged has to be 8.4. Okay. 820 milliamps is charging fine. Uh, let me plug the M2 drive. M2 drive. Perfect. Let me put back the screw. Screw is back and now we can uh, power on the laptop. Pressing the power button and... Pressing the power button, the laptop it is coming on. You can see the blue light, the current is going up. And probably it's loading the windows. Yeah. What a nice and pleasant job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smell like pizza. Huh? Huh? Easy pizza? Well, it's easy pizza now because on the first one, actually, we spent some time uh, till we, we, we found the fault, you remember? If you remember, uh, the configuration of this uh, input circuit is different. So we have four MOSFETs on the serial mode because, because we have two MOSFETs from the charging port, from the plus, two MOSFETs. Then the power line from the USB-C is coming. Then we have another two MOSFETs, yeah? And then it's reaching the main power rail, so yeah. Yeah, all good, and you can see the laptop is charging fine. Unplug in the charger, and yeah, it's low battery. Yeah, it's switching off low battery. But the battery it is charging fine. Let's wait for the fan to stop. 10 milliamps, 800 milliamps. All good. Okay, just, you know, a short video. Just to give you an idea how you, you know, swap the MOSFET, because... I seen on Discord many people they are looking for exactly the same model to replace.
So I'm pretty sure if you're looking for a one MOSFET, I'm pretty sure you have better MOSFETs around you. It's not even matter, you know, this MOSFET can easily probably handle like 10 amps. And all you have here, like 800 milliamps, the worst case scenario on the laptop it's on, you have like 2 amps. So any MOSFET can handle. Good. I'm going to stop now. The laptop is fixed. We don't have screws. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, but only if you like it, yeah, and you find it, like, helpful. And uh, see you on the next one, right? Yeah. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you